Hi, I'm Tim, welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it, and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today, we are discussing a watch launched in 2017. This is the Panerai Luminor 1950 Panerai Classic Yachts Challenge Regatta 3 Days Chrono Flyback PAM 6 Five, three. That's a mouthful, but this is a watch with a lot to offer. 44 millimeters and generally polished stainless steel. This is a Luminor 1950 that is 18.5 millimeters thick and from lug to lug across the wrist spanning 53.7 millimeters with a 24 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The timepiece features a quick release lug system that allows you to, if you wish, use just two ends of a broken toothpick to remove the strap. You push the plunger on the bottom of the lug profile and then you push the retaining bar through. It's more secure when in place than a traditional spring bar and it makes removal easy, so you don't have to risk your talent with a strap tool or a screwdriver against the finish of the lugs. It's the best of both worlds. It's a quick release system, but it doesn't lock you into a proprietary strap the way most quick releases do. You still get to use a standard 24 millimeter strap made by Panerai or otherwise, and no brand has more OEM and aftermarket strap options than Officine Panerai. Now the watch features a minimally tanned calfskin strap the Assolutamonte, which is a distinctive Panerai strap style, with a contrasting stitch that nicely matches the E-Crew print of the dial. You can see it uses a broad folded edge. Calfskin on the underside, this is a brand new Officine Panerai factory strap, and it's equipped with a simple satin finished stainless steel trapezoidal buckle for quick on the fly adjustment. The Panerai Luminor 1950 case, inspired by the 1950s reference 6152 and launched in the modern era on the PAM 127 of 2002. It's different from the Luminor Bettarini case, which looks like this and was designed in 1993 by Panerai machinist Alessandro Bettarini for the first civilian Panerai watches. It's still beloved and still in production, but the Luminor 1950 is the more historically true case as well as the more complex shape. You can see here, all in high polish, the device protecting the crown, though, in satin for contrast, and it is an icon of design. I cover the dial, you see that crown guard, you know who made this watch, you even know what model it is. So you have that locking lever, it was part of a system designed in the late 40s by Panerai and implemented in the 1950s. So you get more protection than a shouldered crown guard, plus you get a way to unlock the watch. As you can see, I'm able to wind the watch now. I don't have to thread out the crown. I am able to hack the watch. Note that not only does the watch feature hacking seconds, but a zero reset second system that zeroes out the constant seconds hand, so you can set it more accurately against a reference time. You can also use that mechanism to set the watch. Now here's the thing. Unlike a conventional screw down crown, which threads the stem assembly into and out of the seal, this merely decompresses and recompresses the crown. As a result, it doesn't wear out the seal. That was the original idea behind this design. And also, it makes it a lot harder to jump into the water than a screw down crown because, well, that's hard to miss and a screw down crown might be a few turns out without being noticed. You get that full protection that a shouldered guard doesn't give you and of course this is a post-2007 version of the mechanism so you can see there's a little runner or bearing inside of the cam mechanism. The dial features a nautical tachymeter outboard and as you can see this is a calibration starting with a low 30 knots, so it says it says units, and it's in nautical miles. So this is for timing slow-moving things, sailboats. And of course, the classic yachts challenge, which inspires the watch, is a regatta series for restored classic yachts, so that makes sense. Now there is that Ray Hot featuring the tachymeter outboard. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer, give us a bit more light so we can more easily see the calibrations. And it is a remarkably deep Ray Hot sloping down from the bezel to the dial base. The bezel here more minimal than on other Panerai watches. There is a no-date dial, simple, nicely balanced with bilateral symmetry, and you can see an ecru or simulated patina coloration used in order to match a slight tobacco hue about the dial. The watch features radial minutes, so you can see chronograph hours up to 12 at 3 o'clock, a radial minutes display, and then you have chronograph seconds, and it is a flyback chronograph. So. You can start it and stop it conventionally, but you can also activate a flyback, and when it's in action, the flyback allows you to stop, reset, and restart with a single push of the reset trigger. Now underneath the case back, the watch features a caliber P9001. You can see the timepiece, thanks to the locking lever crown, 100 meters water resistant, and that is the image of Panerai's in-house 
classic yacht. They actually purchased one and restored one. It looks exactly like this. But the movement, automatic winding, twin mainspring barrels, 72 hour power reserve, the zero reset, as well as a time zone function. So you have the zero reset hacking, but then you also have a time zone function that allows you to move the hour hand independently, even as the local time the minute hand doesn't change and the chronograph continues to run. It's a wonderful technical refinement. 37 joules, manufacture, it features both a column wheel and a vertical clutch so the action is crisp and thanks to the vertical clutch you can leave the chronograph running full time and when it starts, it st starts without any jump or stagger. So it's a very precise system. It also features the flyback functionality. This is a watch of manifold refinements. The Panerai Luminor Regatta, 1950 Panerai Classic Yachts Challenge Regatta, three days chrono flyback. You can see the 653 and make it yours on the watch box. The Luminor Regatta Flyback by Night.